The full moon in Virgo will occur on the 7th of March at 7.40 a.m. on the East Coast. Also known as the worm full moon, it is named after the earthworms that start to appear in preparation for spring. Saturn, the great taskmaster, moves into the water sign of Pisces about an hour later. This event is one of three outer planet sign changes for 2023. The full moon occurs at 16 degrees, 40 minutes of Virgo, exactly opposite the sun in Pisces, mostly affecting people born with personal planets and points at approximately 12 to 20 degrees of the mutable signs Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. On the East Coast, the full moon will be exact in the Earth sign of Virgo in the sixth house. The moon in Virgo is exacting and focused on details. Being of a practical and logical nature, Virgo can make it difficult for the moon to express its emotional nature so it is not comfortable in this sign. The moon in Virgo will tend to overanalyze its feelings. Virgo is the natural sign of the sixth house, which deals with the pragmatic details of day-to-day -day life. So the sign and house energies are extremely happy together. The moon is opposed by the sun in the water sign of Pisces in the 12th house. Pisces functions in the realm of emotion and feelings. The sun is not well placed in Pisces, since the sun's sense of its own personality dissolves under the influence of Pisces. On the other hand, Pisces is the natural sign of the 12th house, and both the sign and the house deal with spiritual connections. By house and sign, this opposition is perfectly balanced between the issues of the spiritual world versus the material one. But what does that mean? The difference between spirit and matter is like the difference between faith and science. Once thought impossible to blend, recent research in quantum physics has proven otherwise. In a human, spirit represents the soul and matter the body. Ideally, both should work together. Only when they do can a person be truly balanced. Having the luminaries uncomfortable by house and sign will encourage the process of integrating spirit and matter together. Uranus in the earth sign of Taurus in the first house is trying the moon in Virgo and sextile the sun in Pisces. Uranus is the planet of unexpected change, but in steady, methodical Taurus, the change will be more controlled and systematic, step by step. The moon trine Uranus will encourage you to seek out people who are different, who create emotional excitement in your life. With the sun sextile Uranus, maintaining your individuality is more important than living up to the expectations of others. The energy of Uranus is positively supporting the necessary changes you must make to balance your physical and spiritual needs. Jupiter in the fire sign of Aries in the first house is conjunct the Aries ascendant within four minutes. This is a very strong conjunction. Jupiter conjunct ascendant transit is a time for personal growth, material success, and beneficial new relationships. These first house energies are all about you. Explore and enjoy new experiences. While Jupiter in Aries can act too quickly before thinking things through, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and good luck. So this transit is your time to have some fun. Mars in Gemini in the third is squared Neptune in Pisces in the 12th. Mars in Gemini focuses more on mental or verbal activity. With Mars square Neptune, you'll be dealing more with the challenging side of Neptune, the delusions. You'll likely need to deal with feelings of doubt, discouragement, and inadequacy. After a loss or disappointment, 
It is important not to be too hard on yourself. Wait until you calm down, then think rationally about why things didn't turn out as you had hoped. It is possible there was a misunderstanding or that you simply imagined a different outcome. Try to avoid the tendency to gossip or use deceitful speech because you may face consequences for your actions. Be aware that you may also be subject to the same yourself. Stay far away from gossip, lies, deceit, and treachery. Mercury in Pisces in the 12th house is positively aspecting the North Node in Taurus in the 1st house and the South Node in Scorpio in the 7th house. We have discussed these universal Taurus Scorpio nodal energies before. This time the North Node is falling in the 1st house of self while the South Node is in the 7th house of relationships. The nodes are in earth and water as are the full moon luminaries this month. But the nodal focus is on maintaining the balance between yourself and your intimate relationships. In this case, creating the balance between an emotionally oriented relationship and maintaining a grounded sense of yourself as an individual. With Mercury in intuitive Pisces in the 12th house of spirituality, you should be better able to communicate with your partner during this transit. Less than an hour after the exact opposition of the luminaries, Saturn will exit the sign of Aquarius and move into the sign of Pisces. Saturn will remain in Pisces from 2023 until January 2026, with one short foray into Aries during 2025. Saturn is fundamentally about responsibility, restrictions, boundaries, and structures. Pisces is a mutable water sign and operates in the realm of emotions and feelings. It is concerned with healing on the emotional and spiritual planes and understands that we are all one. Saturn in Pisces struggles with boundaries and looks for that point of balance between enough structure to provide support and flexible enough to be compassionate and caring. Pisces functions on the spiritual level, while Saturn needs tangible physical level results. Saturn in Pisces tries to bring form to the formless. Transiting Saturn indicates the area of your life that is being tested and is now experiencing the greatest tension. What issues are you dealing with now? The planet Saturn is considered the master of karma. Pisces is in the 12th sign of the zodiac and considered the end of a karmic cycle. From a more universal perspective, the lunar nodes have karmic significance. The ascendant and descendant are now within 15 minutes of an exact conjunction with lunar nodes, shifting to a powerful position for the entry of Saturn into Pisces. In summary, this full moon in Virgo is about balancing the spiritual world versus the material one. Only when you can do so can a person be truly balanced themselves. This full moon will most affect people born with personal planets and points at approximately 12 to 20 degrees of the mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Uranus is positively aspecting the Virgo moon and the Pisces sun. Uranus is the planet of unexpected change, but in steady, Methodical Taurus, the change will be step by step. These energies will support the necessary changes you must make to balance your physical and spiritual needs. Mars is square Neptune in Pisces, so you may experience feelings of doubt, discouragement, and inadequacy. Don't be too hard on yourself. Wait until you calm down and then think rationally about why things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. Don't forget 
that Jupiter is conjunct the ascendant, so it is a good time to have some fun. About an hour after the exact full moon, Saturn moves into Pisces, bringing form to the formless. Transiting Saturn indicates the area of your life that is being tested and is experiencing the greatest tension. Due to Saturn in Pisces aspecting the lunar nodes, this transit also has karmic implications. Thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and click the notify bell icon so you'll know when new videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the thumbs up icon.